Oh, well, hello and welcome everyone. Um, maybe based on what we discussed earlier, um, we can discuss more before we start. So if not, so I will directly go to the session. The session is mainly about the how we can evaluate and uh, how we can evaluate the automatically generated prompts or the LLM result in general. So basically, in our sense, we are trying to uh, implement um, prompting uh, with automatic prompt engineering, which is generating uh, prompts automatically. Uh, so my screen is here. OK. Um, if so, then uh, as you have seen earlier, we are generating prompts from LLM. We are generating tests or evaluation prompts from LLM that have both the uh, evaluation, but uh, the prompt plus the answer. So how can we match with the context? And also, how can we rank that one in terms of the relevance to the uh, against the context or uh, um, in the morning session, Abel was showing us uh, an evaluation. How can he evaluate the LLM response against the context that he gave? And what are the possible uh, criteria? And how can we inject this one to the our prompt, automatic prompt generation, which we have as a task for this week? So basically, the idea behind this uh, prompt matching and ranking is uh, to evaluate whether this prompt would, or the given prompt aligns its specific with its specific context, or how can we order them in terms of relevance or with respect to this degree of alignment. So we have two things here: how we can. Uh, assess whether it aligns with the given context plus how we can uh, order them. So in, in this process, we have so many uh, approaches which we can use, but mainly today I want to show you the Monte Carlo matching system plus the ELO rating, how can we use in the automatic prompt engineering sense. And you can add more to it also you can use the alternative methods which we leads you to evaluate the automatically generated prompt so where do we can apply this one so we can have so many applications out there starting from the search engine optimization content curation recommendation system as you have seen nanana have uh, some of these features but Still, not all of them are implemented for Nana. Uh, sometimes you cannot understand what you have asked. Sometimes there are so many things, but we are trying to mitigate step by step. So we are not expecting you to give uh, to give us the higher level of this relevance or um, prompt matching plus the prompt trading task, but. Uh, as an initial point, let's see how well are we doing with this, and we can apply this to the real scenario. So when we come to the uh, prompt matching, we have uh, the prompt or the query which we are getting from the LLM, and also the set of requirements. That means your context. So. I have my own description for my prompt, so I want this 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 to, to be generated. And how can we? Uh, I'm going to match this one. Basically, there are so many techniques 
in general these three are the main that means the first one is the keyword based matching you you will search that keyword from the context and from your prompt or if it appears in both so that's one so you will count that one or else you will go for semantic analysis semantic analysis rather than discount based method you will go for the word embedding how the hard these words are semantically related because uh, the keyword based matching will search the actual if it's uh, searching for prompt matching so it will go for matching not synonym words are detected no no similar words are detected in the keyword matching so in the semantic analysis uh, you can uh, have this opportunity to um, go to your um, analysis and check whether this specific word is have its synonym appears in your prompt or not that means when your context is having some words which is near to the prompt generated so you will have another point there and the contextual matching is the other one which means that uh, how that this context matches with the context that you give for your uh, prompt so basically let's say we are trying to evaluate technical content so this is is the actual generated prompt is technical content or not so this kind of um, technique can be used to for the prompt matching purpose and the challenge with respect to this prompt matching somehow there is ambiguity plus complexity uh, because the prompts are vague and they have they can have multiple interpretation in your in your context and it can be different in the prompt context so this can not be mitigated yet so still it's a challenge in the prompt matching field and also how uh, what's the intent behind that specific prompt and this is also the other thing and how can we have the technical subject or the technical terms or the technical annotations um, if you have any question let me you can unmute and forward that um, because I'm sharing I wouldn't see my screen so in when we come to the and uh, understanding the intent so um, you can take the example AI may have um, PR let's say PR is a good example PR can be a pull request PR can be a permanent resident uh, so we, we have different um, annotation to this kind of um, thing so this makes it the prompt matching much more complex task uh, so we can get the exact alignment with what we want and the second one is the prompt ranking so this is also the other task which we need to do to assess whether the prompt is um, relevant or it align it have a good quality with this specific criteria uh, so how can we implement the relevance scoring relevance when we say relevance scoring how can we calculate the relevancy of the prompt against the context or the criteria that we have given maybe this criteria can be uh, your as it shows the relevance how can we quantify this relevance in terms of numbers uh, relevance in terms of uh, probability 
and the other thing is the machine learning model so you can use any of the machine learning model to calculate this relevance and user feedback also the other thing basically llm by itself can uh, give you a feedback about its answer so that can be also an input for your prompt ranking function uh, so you can incorporate that one in order to improve the ranking process and in this uh, section or in the prompt ranking we have two different uh, challenges the one is the subjectivity the relevance and the quality can be subjective it may vary from you to me and it may vary from a novice technology user to the literate one so you have to mitigate that one while generating prompts and also it's dynamic by its nature so constant update is must uh, how how do you cope up with that and the LLMs are now become getting powerful and those prompt to, uh, which are generated in the earlier in the pre uh, the initial LLM era will, will not be relevant enough in nowadays so how will do you cope up with or how your system will cope up with this dynamic nature is the other thing uh, which you may need to consider while prompt ranking so how can we implement this prompt ranking and prompt matching? So initially we have to define the evaluation criteria. What's the criteria which we want to evaluate? If it's relevance, relevance to its topic, factual accuracy, coherence, user engagement, you can list out many, then you can start implementing the prompt matching with respect to the evaluation criteria. Uh, you, will, you will develop the ranking algorithm there. Then you will combine this into one method that can uh, filter based on the matching result and that will rank among the uh, ranking result. So, uh, Specifically, I want to show you the Monte Carlo method in prompt matching. Uh, this Monte Carlo is because, as I have said earlier, prompts uh, have their own challenge or prompt evaluation have their own challenge towards the, the user, also towards the context. So we want to randomize and we want to get a probabilistic prediction rather than a specific one. So we will use this Monte Carlo in this session. Maybe you can add more. Uh, the first thing in the Monte Carlo is just it's a random sample. So it will take random uh, prompts from your prediction. Then it will try to make a probabilistic uh, prediction against the answer it's given or the context you have given to the prompt so in this scenario you have uh, to generate a variety of potential context and a response or a variation of a given prompt using the randomized permutation so a given prompt with a context then a random prompts which can be easily generated in our sense you can take the main prompt as a main then the test case or the, whether you call it 5 10 or 11, 15 so those can be a variation of the given prompt then this will start to be calculated the evaluated matching system against the context then how much the q uh, keyword overlap semantic similarity relevance to the topic so you can uh, start doing that then the score can be uh, predefined with the in terms of relevance accuracy and completeness so in this case you will have the result for this one then the overall match score will be the against the original prompt to the given context you will get that one 
also the score is the the score represents the probability of prompt being relevant or appropriate in a various scenario so if we have one main prompt we will evaluate against so many test cases so we can say that this is relevant uh, if it achieves higher value with respect to those test cases we can say that this is a relevant in appropriate prompt in various scenarios so you can confirm that one and you will go for ranking based on this score then the other one is the yellow rating so how would, uh, how can we use the yellow rating with the prompt matching so initially this yellow rating can be you can make it um dynamic to be changed based on the performance because whenever you are start to check every prompt you have to have a certain score make a scoring mechanism uh, which we defined earlier then based on that the low rating will be changed and there are many competent prompts so those prompts in our test case and one prompt can be evaluated against the uh, more relevant or the higher quality than the other then this will consider as a win situation and then you will define the draw the loss or so if they are both equal so it will be a draw and if they are one loss you will use the the loss one or if it's lower than the expected relevance so based on this rating adjustment you will have the low the yellow rating then win for higher rate and loss for low rate so this is basically the introduction about how this ALO in monte carlo ranking works Maybe I couldn't hear you. So basically, this is all. So the yellow rating is how you will uh, assign weight for each Monte Carlo result. That means uh, we have calculated the Monte Carlo score. Then based on that score, your prompt starts uh, to compute with each other, which is uh, who, which score gets higher than which one and which prompts gets higher than which one and which prompts are gets lower than this one maybe you have the main prompt and you have the test set so you will uh, compare against to the test set and you will define your uh, rating schema basically here i have defined as one as a win if both have a higher value so you can define it as win and um, not both uh, the main prompt and if it have um uh, equivalent with the one test case or equivalent monte carlo score so we will assign to that to a draw which means um, both of them are equally relevant then if the main prompt is less than the one test case so you can assign that one with the as a loss so that means you, your prompt loss so this can be simulated and tested with many test case generations there i hope i have and um
Do you have any questions or not? Uh, maybe I have answered your question. If not, you can write. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, good morning, Mali. Yeah. Uh, so my question is that uh, <coughs> when we want to generate a prompt based on a given context, uh, we will generate uh, test case for that specific prompt, right? Yes. Because when we have different context, or if someone comes and asks us for uh, a prompt with that uh, context, we only deal that one. F when we do that, we have to uh, create a, a, a test case prompt for that context only, right? It's not a general test case. Now uh, it's dependent on your use case. If your use case, you yeah. So for example, let, let, let me just mm -hmm. clarify my question. Mm -hmm. uh, if if I want to have a prompt that deals with uh, a database, right? Okay. That will be a, a SQL query prompt, right? Mm -hmm. So having having that uh, context, I can generate test case prompts so that I can rank the the prompts that I'm going to generate, right? Uh, yeah, how but much? If is something else comes, go on, sorry. No problem, just get you finished, then uh, we will, I will go. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that if, if it, it, that those test case prompts has to be, uh, specific for uh, a specific uh, context we can't have like test case prompts for everything uh, just i want to have a clarify clarification on that yes you are right because uh, the llms are vast in their nature so you cannot address everything at the same time but you can you can make this test case generation automatic which is according to your context that means if you are working with um, uh, automatic the query generation so you have the database uh, schema there and its definition all all the things there then you have also your user need which means what do you want to get from that specific context then based on that you will start to generate uh, a test case prompt and those prompts can be helpful to evaluate the user query or the user prompt where maybe you are preparing that one as a the last week challenge the readers add on so yeah i am writing i want to see the visualization for this specific uh, data or youtube viewers per year so i'm writing that how much is this relevant to uh the actual content you have in the back and also you want to assess that one in my opinion mm -hmm. when we say automatic prompt generation or when we say uh, prompt evaluation so how can we you evaluate my query against the data you have and is that my query is relevant enough to fetch answer from the, the data which we have uh, which you have in the back or not so in order to answer this one you have to generate a test case so basically uh, you have the context the sql uh, thing then it's uh, you can use that one as a context you based on that context you generate a set of uh, test case so you have that test case and my prompt so you will match my prompt against to your test case. If that prompt is not relevant enough to get the that specific context, you will you will answer you have to answer that one in a way that I can understand. So sorry, I can I couldn't find the relevancy in your question. So you have to modify your question. Maybe my content is you are out of the context. You have to add this this this. In that way, you make it complete. 
maybe if I am clear or yeah. correctly answering that, the question. That that's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Any question there? If not, let me show you a simple uh, implementation of this one, and I will go. I will go with the uh, the morning demo page. So, based on that, we have generated this test case. So, how can we integrate or how can we evaluate this? Even this one in terms of their relevance how can we rank them and also the other thing is how can we rank uh, this one we evaluate this one against the human query or other query which i will give as yes, manual so uh, um, what i want to do is here basically have defined a uh, two functions based on the different simulation perspective so i have started um, a simple simulation not the actual implementation of the monte carlo but simple simulation how are we going with this 100 trial and how can we score the uh, each prompt against its relevancy so high is if if it's uh, in three category highly relevant somehow relevant plus irrelevant so if it's highly relevant i will reward it i want to reward it so i have given three and if it's um, somehow relevant to then these are the things which i try to randomize and generate the choice based on this i will start to evaluate the using the ELO evaluation then in the ELO also i have the uh, actual prompt competition which is the win loss and draw so in this ELO scenario, how are we in the in terms of how what's the skill of this prompt? Maybe this ELO is directly come from the chase uh, player rating, and if if you know chase, um, most of the time you don't know the player's ability and how you can simulate this one into the actual robot. So in order to know the next move of the your opponent, so you need to draw this and um, a specific uh, lines. He can go this way, he can go this way. So, uh, in terms, of, in order to rate that player, so they are using this win loss and draw uh, specifically. Then, based on that, they have the ELO formula that they provided, and this is the formula. Then, based on that, you will start to get that rating uh, i think this is directly simulated with the elo evaluation you can go and read uh, the elo evaluation there and in order to clarify more about but the base rating uh, we have cut off most of them are using this 1500 so and also the maximum change in the rating is set to be 30 as the ELO implementation. So these are the two functions which I will use to evaluate the those test prompts against to my prompt. So basically what I have done is just to to check each and every of the let's say I have this uh, five just I selected those five um, questions that are generated by the uh, automatic gen data generation. Then I have added my main prompt, which I, I want to ask. So why we use OpenAI. Then based on that, I will uh, try to rate the Monte Carlo evaluation and also the ALO rating evaluation. So I have got this kind of result and when we come to the explanation how this are done basically we have the 
that's current for the Monte Carlo evaluation for this specific scenario from one to three. And that means the relevance score. And I just trying to compare the main prompt, which gets a 1.94 score and slightly um, below than the average because those five prompts have scored above the two, some of them above two and some of them below two. So if you have read this one, uh, it can be lower than this one. So the these two scores are uh, suggest that the model is quietly moderately relevant and the high score the one that scores the high one is highly relevant so in terms of this test case and from the yellow rating against to my base prompt uh, so usually it starts with as i have told you the yellow implementation they have 1500 as a start rating then the performance near to this um, 105,000 is lower, or it's if it's lower, lower, and if it's higher than this one, uh, the prompts can be doing average and better. So you can label that one in that sense. So uh, the main prompt is now scoring around 1,400. 1, 89, which is slightly uh, below the average performance. And we can say that uh, based on this rating, uh, it's below the average of performance. And also the test case for one, two, four, five are above the average. Mm, the better performance in at their ELO rating because uh, if we see that the ELO rating for this case one is um, 1,519, 1, then, the, then the second case is also similar, almost similar. The third one is 1,504 and the fourth one is 1,500. These are mostly similar and this one have below the average the last case so based on this you can interpret how that what's your main prompt in both evaluation and where is the prompt resides that means it's doing good or it's doing bad in terms of relevance so you can label that one then you can also evaluate those test cases in contrast and i think this is it from the evaluation perspective and if we are evaluating those prompt against themselves or if we are trying to evaluate the prompt with respect to their and the rest of the prompt like the one prompt for the against the first prompt so we have this result which is the higher rating and it's relevant accurate or valuable you can say that like this against the four prompts that we have mm, and also this is also a kind of sort of uh experimentation but you can go deep and more fine-tune that one also and when you come to the ragas or the how you can evaluate your rag system or the different system which we have from the one which i showed you that is the clear how we can evaluate our prompt with main prompt and how we can evaluate our prompt, test case prompts against each other and based on that, you can label them their relevance. And from the RAGAS, this is the RAG-based evaluation system. You, I think you have seen most of them. 
just I tried to simulate this one into this context. So I have the context text. So this is uh, my context. Then I have to put this one into the retriever component or that the one that used the OpenAI component and the OpenAI embedding plus the WaveYet one. So in order to store the the embeddings into WaveYet, so I will create the retriever part here and using the OpenAI embedding with the WaveYet document format. So this retriever can be initialized as a retriever function. Then I have posed the chunks from the data which I have. And basically it's chunked into these three components. Uh, so these chunks with the retriever components, which is loaded to the WebAid database. Then based on that, I'm just trying to uh, create a question answering task or just try to create a questions from that one. And I have this prompt template when it runs as it goes. So it you will have a questions here from the test case that are generated earlier. I have put them and the answers as a ground truth. And these answers are a list, it's a kind of list of lists. So in order to make this Ragas functional, you have to put it in the Ragas dataset format, which says you have to put the context as a list of lists. This ground truth is also a list of lists. Uh, then basically you have the question plus the answer plus the context where that this uh, specific answer comes and the actual ground truth or the actual answer that's generated. So having this as a data set, so you will generate the data set class. Based on that, you will start to see uh, how this, the faithfulness, those evaluation metrics that are listed by the Ragas evaluation or the uh, relevancy, precision, recall, you can calculate that one. In order, this is uh, all about you cannot evaluate the prompt because they are hard because they have so many challenges there. The prompt that is work based for me and the prompt that will work best for your scenario is different. So these are the metrics that is defined by the Raga system. So based on that, you will try to evaluate how this is functioning. Then this is the result which you get. In order to confuse, you can add more, like other um, prompts and other answer. But as the maybe I want to evaluate my data generation step or the test case generation step. So you can see the precision is one, the recall is one, the faithfulness is one, and also the answer relevancy is zero point five, which is. Uh, much more nearer to the uh, the actual one. So we can accept these three prompts that they are as they are relevant to uh, the context with respect to their um, context provided for us. So you can experiment more with this one and you can add the Monte Carlo evaluation and testing to this one in order to enhance the RAC pipeline also. If you have any question, maybe you are welcome. Maybe if it's not clear or if it's clear, or if you are confused. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's clear for me, except uh, how do we define the ground truth for a prompt ah. uh, because this one this one is a uh, question and answer right so we know the question we will have the answer but for uh, a prompt for example sql query prompt what what's the the, the truth value that, that that's my question 
from the automatic generation step uh, maybe if you are there mm -hmm. in the morning uh, session you have this uh, yeah. prompt generation prompt so how you can generate you know there um, the generation part shows you you will give the context then the data generation prompt based on that you will start to get the data the generated prompts like this yes uh, so if you have the context you will pass that context then the data generation prompt so you can modify this prompt according to your need then based on that you will yes. generate this test data uh, what time was it so that that would be uh, which which one will be the the the, the truth for the comparing ground, my main main the ground yeah, yeah. truth is the actual answer that's given yeah. by the assistant if I, you can see this one who found it, the open ai so the assistant replies you can say that this is a yes, you can take this one as a ground truth because he have used this as an assistant method but this is the one which is the answer extracted from the context as you see who founded the open ai so if we can find this one here some altman mm -hmm. and Elon Musk has found in when I'm, it says blah blah so this is the ground truth their name at least okay so after after generating the the prompt we have to use the prompt to give us uh an answer and we compare that answer with the yes. the, the, the in terms, answer. Uh, yes in terms uh, of the okay. regress evaluation in order to make this automatic but if you want to go manually so it's, it becomes different scenario <laughs> so in 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 order to make this one you can make the question in answering with the llm so yeah, yeah first yeah. question then answer first question then answer then those can be act as a test case to evaluate mm -hmm. okay. then based on that you will start how it, this how this uh, question is relevant with respect to its answer its ground truth so you will try to assess this one based on this ground truth and the context you will give because when i'm passing here i have the context like the data set is when you see the data set you have the question the yes. answer mm -hmm. and, and also this answer is generated by the llm now when i run this prompt this prompt and using this context and this is the actual ground truth which i extended from the this data okay thank you so in this way you can start experimenting and finding the optimal way which one is the optimal way to evaluate prompts and how we can integrate all of this into one rag system any question Okay, Rosley. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, so, so from your presentation, what I understood is there's the Monte Carlo method. And so we use Monte Carlo and then the ELO. Rating. To, yes, the ELO rating uh, together to score its, its relevance, right? Yes. And, Okay, so finally, how does the ragas uh, come in? Do we do we use them together, or uh, are they separate parts that we're supposed to combine and use in the same system? I'm a bit confused. And in the ragas, you can combine, and maybe just the problem now is that ragas by itself is not complete, a complete pipeline, or and. Um, a, a complete um, solution for 
prompt evaluation because it's still open it's still in experiment so you can experiment more and more there you can add uh, uh, inject the monte carlo matching or the lorating there to the ragas pipeline also uh, that's as uh, an alternative because we don't have this this specific method work for this prompt evaluation so we have to experiment here and there that's why i'm showing you them separately so if you want you can add them if not you can use the ragas evaluation only but in order to enhance ragas you can add this monte carlo elo or any of the um, prompt ranking methods that are specified there you can add any of them am i clear hello can you hear me okay uh, i think basil is you are muted or something So any question? If not, let's wrap up the class here and we can have the discussion on the Slack. Okay. Yes, you are breaking a bit. Hello. Hello. Uh, can you get the code actually when you show mm -hmm. it so we can Maybe you are breaking, can you write? I couldn't, hear you clearly. I couldn't hear you clearly because uh, you are breaking. It's all for me or for the others also? I will share the code and the repository also. I think I will have shared it. Maybe if not, uh, we will share that one. Okay, uh, if the, your question is being on the code, so we will share the repository. Uh, any question, anything else which we need to discuss? <laughs> 